guys, Sean Terry here. What is up? We are in the Range Rover, driving down to a property that we made, what, $65,000 on. And uh, we're headed to Phoenix right now. Uh, 1705 West Campbell uh, is the property. Now, here's the deal. This is video number two. Make sure you watch video number one um, about how to get your first check, right? That's phase one, how to get your first check, the nine step sequence to go out and get your first check. Make sure you watch that video in full, it's incredibly important, um, cause that shows you the process to get the check. Now, in this video, I wanna talk about phase two and phase three. Now, phase two is when you are looking to accumulate one year's worth of income as fast as humanly possible, so you have the option to quit your job, okay? So um, it's right now, it's about 3, 4 in the afternoon, we were in the office earlier talking, doing some stuff um, earlier today, but what happens is in phase three now, you have the ability to then quit your job. You have the option to quit your job in phase two, because you get one year's worth of income. Phase three, you actually quit your job, and then you can go out and, and do what you want to do. You have the freedom to go out in the afternoon uh, and go uh, go check out properties. You can wake up and go to the gym. You can take the day off if you want to take the day off. You can do what you want to do because it's your own business. So um, so in this video, we're gonna I'm actually gonna take you to a house and I'm gonna talk about what's called a whale, right? And uh, you know, uh, you know, obviously we know know what a whale is and what deep sea fishing and you know, and when you go fishing, there are uh, fish that you get that are small fish, and there's fish that you get that are monster fish, right? Um, and uh, and that big fish comes every once in a while. So in this business, you can get a whale of a deal, and it might be every you know 15 properties, every uh, 25 properties, whatever the case may be, but in our business, it's about every 17 properties we get is a whale of a deal. Now, here's the deal. Is that phase number two? Let's talk about phase two. Phase two is when now you you go out and you got your first check. Now think about that. You went out, you got started, you got up and going, and you got your first check, right? Phase uh, and now you've done it. You went through the process. And you understand how it's going to work. Phase two now, right, is when now you're going to rinse and repeat the exact same nine-step sequence over and over again, working around your job. Okay, so let's say for an example, you uh, you got a nine to five job. You wake up, you got you know go and and you commute in traffic. You go you know and you you know and you're going into uh, to work every morning, and you got your lunch break, and then after that, and then you're you're going home, you know, and in your car, and then you have the weekends off or whatever. Well, you know, think about your typical jobs. You, you might hate your job. It might suck. You might hate the people you work with. You might hate your boss. You know, or maybe you like it, but you're just not getting paid enough money. Well, this is something that's great because now you have the ability to, you don't have to quit your job right now, you can work around your job um, to go out and get a deal and uh, and go out and earn extra income, okay? Now, let's say theoretically you make $50,000 a year, $60,000 a year. Your goal is through this business, by rinsing and repeating the nine step process that you learned in phase one, is to go out and do that as fast as humanly possible, right? To accumulate one year's worth of income. So $60,000, your goal is to get $60,000 as fast as humanly possible through this business. Now, once you do that, guess what? You're gonna have buyers that you have uh, built and talked to and built a relationship with. You're gonna have an understanding of the market. You're gonna have an understanding of marketing. You're gonna have an idea of where the good deals are in your current marketplace. And uh, so the bottom line is, is you are gonna have a good understanding of what's happening, right? See, people get involved in, like me, right? I got my first check of $11,008, and I was like, I'm done, I quit my job. Now, that wasn't a smart move. I was like, you know, a, a little too excited, quit my job. I still didn't know what was going on. Now, after that first check, I went about four or five months with no check, nothing. Right, and I was freaking out. My wife was freaking out. Kids were free. I was like, a, it was, it was, it was crazy. 
Um, and it was a very difficult time, but I prematurely quit my job and I don't want that for you. That's why we have phase two. Phase two is to work around your job. Guess what? If you gotta work on weekends, work on weekends. If you gotta work on your lunch break, work on lunch break. If you gotta work, you know, call some sellers on the way to the office in the morning, do that. If you gotta do it on the way back home, do that. You know, it's whatever it takes, because guess what? It's a temporary thing, it's a hustle. Get one year's worth of income, and then you can crank it out, and then you have the option to quit, okay? So, now here's the deal. We just talked about fishing and getting a whale, and we're gonna talk about this deal here. And what we're doing right now is we're driving down the I-17. You wanna show them I-17? So, driving down I-17, it's beautiful, it's about, it's 100 degrees right now in Phoenix, so we're, uh, we're, we're, we're sweating a little, right? It's 107, 100 degrees in Phoenix right now. And we're driving down the I-17, and we're going, uh, gonna get off on Camelback. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a deal, right, that, um, I'm gonna turn down this AC a little bit. Um, I'm gonna show you a deal that is considered a whale. Now, depending on your market, like if you're in Southern California, this is gonna be a regular deal for you. But if you're in Phoenix, our average deal size is about $17,000, right? So think about that. Let's call it 20 to make it easy. You know, if you wanted to quit your job, all you had to do in this market is three deals, right? Three $20,000 deals, and let's say you make $60,000 a year, guess what? You had the option to quit your job. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that, be, wouldn't that be the most exhilarating thing to quit your job and be done with it? Well, guess what? What if you just average $10,000? Well, guess what? Now you need six deals. Six, that's it. You're six deals away from freedom, right? And uh, and, and that's, that is part of phase two. Now, what happens is when, you know, I went deep sea fishing in Hawaii, and I've been deep sea fishing a couple times in Bahamas and stuff like that. But deep sea fishing, you put all these lines in the ocean, right? You have all these different lines, different bait on them, and you don't know what you're gonna get, right? So we were in Hawaii, off the coast of Maui, and we were fishing, and, uh, and we pulled up, you know, these small little tiny fish, but then we got a massive Ono. Right, and an Ono is uh, it's like a white fish. Um, it's really popular in uh, in Hawaii, but great fish to eat. It's phenomenal with the sashimi. It's amazing. Um, the bottom line is is that you never know what you're going to get. We talked to the uh, the uh, captain there, and he said the day before they got like an 800 pound marlin. Right, it did, and I was like, I mean, I hope we get a marlin today, you know. But we didn't. We just uh, we got we got you know an ono. But the bottom line is, you never know what you're gonna get. See, here's the deal: when you start putting your, you know, your lines in the ocean, you start putting Google AdWords out, you start putting bandit signs out, you start putting um, mailers out, postcards out, you start talking to sellers. When you put those lines out in the ocean, you never know what you're gonna get. You might reel in a five thousand dollar deal you might reel in a seventeen thousand you might reel in a sixty thousand dollar what if you get one deal that's sixty grand and you're making sixty thousand guess what you need one deal and you can quit your job what you're one deal away from freedom and here's the thing you don't know so people go well I you know I'm just gonna get started and yeah, I want to get up and going I want to think about it I want to get my ducks in a row I got everything well for, listen you don't have time for that you got to shoot the ducks right it's time to get started right now the market is on fire we have a short period of time left now's the time to get on the bandwagon so here's the deal I haven't even talked about this yet this is part of a promotion for Extreme Freedom Live that happens September 23rd through the 25th here in uh, in Glendale, Arizona. Okay, it's right by the uh, the Cardinal Stadium where the Super Bowl was played last year. Um, right at the Renaissance, and if you go to Extreme Freedom Live or click the link below, um, you'll be able to learn more information. But in in the Extreme Freedom. Uh, live event we talk about phase one how to get your first check and we get granular on how to do it the step-by-step -step, nine step sequence then in phase two we talk about what it takes to rinse and repeat that's when you bring systems into your business right you bring certain systems in your business that you can rinse and repeat the process and then you really really have the ability to identify the smoking deals right in your area and you learn how to negotiate right then phase three comes phase three crumbs when now you've accumulated one year's worth of income right and then you have 
the ability or the option to quit your job and you take that option. So you go out and now you're going to quit your job. Now, think about this. Think about it's Friday afternoon, right? You've been working at your company for 15 years, right? And you happen to trip across my podcast, or YouTube videos, um, and that motorcycle guy is crazy. And uh, and you, uh, and we're coming up to Camelback right here. And uh, and you, you, you've been working 15 years. You've been doing this thing. Now you're pretty, you're comfortable, right? You're comfortable. You got your, your, you got your house and your family and your kids and you know and and everything's all cushy. But you're bored out of your mind, right? You're completely bored out of your mind. So now you see, you come across my information and you start looking about real estate and you go, hey, maybe I should try this thing. And you go out and you get your first check and man, you're excited. Then you go out and you start doing some more marketing and you're part of phase two now and you start uh, accumulating some deals and you get an uh, understanding of the process and you're getting excited, you're getting motivated, you're building your confidence, which is the most important part. And then now you give your two weeks notice to your boss, two weeks. Right, and your boss says, "Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, thanks for giving me two weeks, but why don't you just, you know, I, I just like to rip off the band-aid. Let's just get it done, you know, pack your stuff up." Now, you might be freaking out because you're going, "Holy cow! I, I thought I had two weeks, but you know, but it's going to be the best thing that's ever happened in your life. I can tell you that right now." So, what happens is, you rip off the band-aid, you pack a box up, and you're done that Friday. Right, you're done, absolutely done. Now, you're partying on the weekend, right? Because you're like, holy cow, this is amazing. Now, and uh, I am, show Camelback right there. Camelback Road. Boom, boom. So now, it's, uh, it's Friday. Now you're off for the weekend, and you don't have to go back to your crazy boss. You don't have to go back to your desk, your same phone, the same four walls, the same desk, doing the same thing every single day. Now you have freedom. You can do what you want to do, but what comes with that is responsibility and there's a whole lot of fear because 15 years you've been getting a paycheck every two weeks right that's gone now unless you got some severance in for a couple months or whatever but now guess what it's all on you to go out and do it so that's why we tell you say in phase two wait right wait before you quit your job because you know wait till you get one year's worth of income because you understand the process see what me what happened to me is uh, I got my eleven thousand eight dollar check and I quit I quit my job I, and I was like, I'm done, I'm out of here. And then I was like, holy cow, I've only did it once and I'm still getting a feel of exactly what's working and what's not working. And uh, and, and I'm, I almost sunk, I can tell you that right now and I don't want that for you. So um, so the bottom line is, is that now you're in phase three, you've quit your job, it's Friday, right? It's Friday afternoon, you quit your job, you're done. You got the weekend, you're hanging out with the family, you're excited, you're free. Monday comes along, right? And now you're freaking out. Right? Because now you're going, whoa, whoa, what do I got to do now? Right? It's Monday. And uh, I don't have to wake up. The alarm is still going off at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, whatever time you used to get up to uh, take a shower, get ready to work, and commute to work. Right? So the alarm's going off. Right? And you wake up and you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs. And guess what? You don't have to get to work. But now you're kind of anxious because, holy cow, you know, you are solely responsible for your income. So now you're an entrepreneur. Now there's risk reward. There's something called ROI. That means you're spending money on marketing and you're looking for a return on investment. You know, and uh, and in this business, you ha have to understand how to manage it and build it correctly. So in phase three, we talk about going from a employee to an employer, an employee to becoming an entrepreneur. That's a complete different thing. It's a complete mindset. Now, a very successful uh, person told me, they said, um, you know, you only make what you're worth, right? You only make what you're worth. And you're only worth what you are. So I looked at that and I was like, well, what, what does that mean? You only make what you're worth. You know, if you're used to making 30, 40, $50,000 a year, you know, Guess what? To make $50,000 a month, doesn't it make sense that you have to be more, become more, be more successful, learn something more, do something different? All right, so 5% of the people will invest in themselves, 5%. Out of those 5%, 3% become wealthy.
right? 5% become. Now, what happens to the other 95%? The other 95%, what do they believe? They believe if I get a good education, right? I get a job, I work till I'm 65, I can get a gold watch. And they get a Seiko, they don't even get a Rolex, right? So the bottom line is that's what I was taught growing up. I was taught that, hey, listen, I had to get a, I had to get a, a really good grades in school. If I got good grades in school, I could go to college, right? And if I got really good grades in college, I could get a great job. And if I got really good, uh, a great job and I worked hard and put my head down, then guess what? I get rewarded. Do you realize that the average American changes jobs every 3.5 years? Right? right now, I mean, there, there's a lot of kids getting out of college and they can't even find a job. They can't even find a job right now. So they're sitting, guess what they're doing? They're living at home with their parents, right? So if an average American changes jobs every 3.5 years, how do they build a retirement? How do they ever get to the point where they can retire and get the gold watch, right? They can't do it. So you and I both know that times have changed. That doesn't work anymore. We've got to do things. Taking a right. I'm going to watch out for these people. I'm going to go now. <clears throat> so the bottom line is, is that... Uh, is that times have changed, right? Times have changed. And, and, and if we don't change with those times, we don't invest in ourselves, we don't become more, be more, guess what? We're not gonna get more. We're gonna be left behind. You know, and the, and the beautiful thing is, is you know, with, with real estate, there is so many different facets of real estate um, that uh, so many different facets of real estate. You know, I mean, we're, we're we're working on an apartment complex right now. Here's Campbell. Um, working on an apartment complex right now. I mean, but I mean, think about it. What what if you owned a thousand apartment complex and you made two hundred dollars each apartment, right? That 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 means you're generating or making two hundred thousand dollars a month without waking out of bed. Two hundred thousand dollars a month without waking out of bed, right? That's what I'm talking about. And what happens is in, in, in the next, uh, in the next, um, so this is 1705, 1829, we're almost there. Um, in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to build a $100,000 a month business, right? Now you're gonna go from phase one, getting your first check. Phase two, learning how to rinse, repeat, and incorporating systems. Phase three is the ability to quit your job, and phase four is now scaling it to $100,000 a month, right? So when you do that, uh, let me see where we at. 1705 right here. So, I'm gonna park right here. All right, so you gotta see this house. Okay, so let me tell you about this house real quick. So this is what's gonna happen to you. This, I'm telling you, this is what's gonna happen to you. This is not uncommon. It happens in every market across the country. There are deals you're gonna come across. It's not every single deal. It's maybe one in 15, one in 20, even one in 30, who cares? The bottom line is this will happen to you. Now, here's the deal. This property, 1705 West Campbell Avenue. It's out here right now, I'm gonna show it to you. Um, this property right here came in off a yellow letter right to a uh, a blanket list right so we basically targeted this area and, he'll, and uh, I'll have Brian here show you the uh, the area give you an idea of what it looks like but um, the bottom line is the ARV after repair value for this thing is two hundred and sixty thousand dollars our contract price we signed a contract on this for hundred and twenty thousand dollars right so instantly instantly right we have 200 and we have a hundred and forty thousand dollar spread right off the bat right we sold the property for hundred and eighty five thousand dollars in a matter of uh, weeks right hundred and eighty five thousand dollars for a sixty five thousand dollar spread so the bottom line is there are whales properties like this if you don't put your uh, lines in the ocean you'll never ever catch a deal like this these deals are being caught in this business every single day and guess what? You might be standing around going, oh, I don't know, you know, maybe I'm thinking, get going, and you know, maybe I should do this, or maybe I should not, whatever. The bottom line is deals are being caught like this every single day. And while you're waiting and contemplating, consider to evaluate and decide, you know, guess what? These deals are being caught and you're missing out. You don't want to miss out on a $65,000 deal that could have been yours. You don't want to do that. 
Well, guess what? At the Extreme Freedom event, we show you specifically, exactly in detail, what to do step by step, right? Step by step. And it's, you know, people leave the event, they go, oh my God, I can't believe he only charges $97 or 197 for this event, 97 for members, 197 for non-members. They're like, how, how can it be so cheap? I mean, it's just, it's so much content, so much, we give away so much information, which is absolutely incredible. Um, we have some amazing speakers there. We have one guy that I'm not even gonna announce that, he's gonna talk about the state of the uh, housing, where we are in the real estate market right now, and it's gonna blow, we all I know is, is I heard him speak on this subject and I freaked out. All I could think was is holy cow, is now is the time. I was like, it created such a hustle about where we are and the timing of the market and the, the gap or the small opportunity we have right now to jump on this real estate market and change our financial future forever, right? At this moment in time right now. Right? Guess what? We had the opportunity back in 2008 to change our financial future. Um, some people did. Hedge funds came in and bought two, three, four, five, six thousand houses at a time, right? They bought up. Guess what? They're going to sell these houses coming soon. And they're going to make windfalls, game changing, life changing money. Well, guess what? That cycle is coming again and it's going to be coming soon. And guess what? If you have the ability to capitalize on that, it could change your financial future forever, but you have to know what you're doing. You have to know to know, be able to find deals like this, how to negotiate deals like this, how to be able to sell these deals quickly into the marketplace. You have to understand that. And you have got to be the one to be part of that 5% that invests in themselves. You want to separate yourself from 95% 95, 95 of the pack? Invest in yourself in your own education. You can do that, right? And then guess what? 3%, what happens, the difference between the 3% and the 5%, that 2% that don't make it become wealthy, why? Because they don't apply it. They get all the information and they sit there and they do nothing with it. The 3% are the action takers that take action. Now, check this out. I'm gonna show you this property. Let me get out and uh, check it out. little tiny house do you like the blue <laughs> now take a look at the neighborhood okay here's the deal the bottom line is this is the seller in this situation uh, wanted to relocate to Texas with their family and they just wanted out of the house. Obviously this house right here is uh, it's a quiet house um, that needs work. Now this house was it's a three bed two bath 1348 square feet. Let me see if I can find out when this sucker was uh, 1348 square feet. Now here's the deal people go uh, single family residence, of course. Um, here's the, uh, uh, is that people, I was talking to a guy last night, we had our meetup group last night, and he was asking, he goes, listen, I'm mailing in the neighborhood, and I'm not getting a lot of response, I'm not getting a lot of deals, what should I do? I said, well, the neighborhood you're mailing in, they're mostly newer build houses. They're built in 1995 and up, 2000 and up. You're building, you know, you're, you're, you're targeting tile roofs. These are the type of deals you're looking for. You're looking for deals like this that are built 1980 and below. They have a ton of deferred maintenance. They need a ton of maintenance on them. And those are the bread and butter deals that people don't want to put money into. You know what it costs to rehab this thing? Probably $30,000 to rehab this thing, $40,000, who knows. But the bottom line is, is that if you have a newer style house, a lot of people, you know, they don't want to get rid of it. They don't want to get rid of these houses at a deep discount. So in every single market, there are deals just like this waiting for you to be able to scoop up and make a fortune on. All right, so this is, I'm not going to go in. We already sold this property uh, a couple, two, three weeks ago, and uh, it's already been sold and done, but I want to show you that this deal, and you can, you can look it up. Go look it up on Zillow or something, 1705. 
uh, West Campbell Avenue. Go check it out. This is a deal he flipped. Made $65,000. That could be your deal. I'm telling you right now. So, all right, let's head back. Now, here's the cool thing. This is how you get to dress, right? This is phase three right here. Phase three, you work phase four, you're working for yourself. You have the ability to guess what? You don't have to wear your suit and tie. You don't have to get all dressed up. You don't have to, you know, fly off. It's funny, I was, uh, I, uh, I was, I spent the last month in California. I have a beach house in Southern California. And I was out there with my family and we were hanging out at the beach and doing whatever and stuff. But I flew back to take my daughter. She had a couple uh, dance, uh, this, this tryout thing she had to do. So we flew back and I was sitting there and I saw all these suits. You know, these guys, Sunday night, they're all dressed up because they had to fly out for, for the next week meetings and stuff. But they had their briefcases and their computers and their suits on and they're all doing this stuff like that. And, I, and I'm sitting there and they're sitting there getting on their flights, having to leave for you know, a week, being away from their families. Who wants to do that? I don't want to do that. They're all you know, crammed in their seats and stuff and flying off. You know, I don't, I don't want to do that. Wouldn't you rather just, you know, work for yourself, come and go and you please, look at your, look at properties, look at the real estate and have a blast doing deals. That's what I want for you. If you're stuck in a job where you're working for somebody else and you're living month to month or, or maybe you have a ton of money and you're just dissatisfied with what you're doing, there are deals out there that you can find just like this. You just got to make a decision to go with the Extreme Freedom event, get up and going, and it's going to be a blast. We're going to announce some speakers that are going to blow you away. We're going to announce some speakers that make a million dollars a month in this business, and they're going to show you how to do it. Where do you get to hang out with a bunch of people that are positive, motivated, make a fortune, and be able to learn specifically in detail how to do this? I promise you, you will not be disappointed at my event. You will not be disappointed. And I'm so confident that you're absolutely gonna love my event that I am giving you a 100% money back guarantee. If you don't like it at all, then you come up to Chelsea, you say, I want my money back, and we'll get, cut your check right there and you can leave. The bottom line is this, is that I've been doing this for five years. These events is the fifth event I've done, and it has been by far, hands down, the best event in the industry for learning how to take information that you can apply that will change your life. I've got students that have went to previous events that are going to be there. They're gonna share what they're doing. that are making millions of dollars. We have a guy that's a bug guy. The guy used to exterminate bugs, making $50,000 a year. That's now making millions of dollars. I got a construction guy, same thing. You ha can do this. You just have to make a decision. You just have to st step up, click the link below, get started, register for the event because the seats are selling out fast. We have a limited amount of seating and where we're at and I want you to be a part of it. I want to invite you to be with me in there and have an absolute blast. But don't contemplate, don't consider, don't evaluate, don't, uh, I don't know, don't be skeptical. You don't have time to be skeptical. Now's the time to get started. Click and register and we will see you at the Extreme Freedom Live event. Now, keep tuned because the next video that comes out is phase four, how to scale to a $100,000 a month business and I want you to be able to do that too. You might be able to thinking, that's impossible. No, it's not. It's, no, it's not. You know, no, it's not. It's just your perception might be it's impossible. You go, oh, $100,000 a year is a lot of money. $100,000 a month is not a lot of money. I can tell you that right now. And guess what? People are doing that all across the entire country and you can do that too. And it's the systems and processes and having the right people in the team to be able to make that happen. So look for the next video down below register. There are also comments down below. Uh, tell us what you think. If you've been to the event before, if you're excited about going, tell us your number one obstacle that you're running into right now. And maybe in the next video, we'll be able to, uh, to overcome that. So take care, God bless, and I'll see ya. See ya.